It's time for Digital Ideas, and we're on the phone today with David Swift, who is one of Alcatel Lucent's small cell experts. Thanks for joining us, David. Uh, that's okay, no problem. Well, what can you tell us about the business drivers for small cells? Well, very much, you know, in the last few years, they've changed very dramatically. From being something where operators were really looking at small cells as just providing five-bar coverage in the home, they've now started to become an important strategic asset in building their network. Why is that? Well, really the spectrum is running out of capacity, and they've got to find new ways to actually um, reuse that spectrum. And shrinking the, small, shrinking the cell size is the key way of doing that. So it's really about a network transformation in how they actually build their networks and about building small cells networks to deliver the services expected. Small cells can be licensed or unlicensed. Uh, and when I talk about unlicensed, I'm talking about operator-graded Wi-Fi. So how does small cells fit, in, fit, fit now into the operator's portfolio? Well, it's now there's a push and there's a pull. In the pool side of things, we're talking about the home and the office. And this is where the end user is saying, I want to be able to use my mobile in my house or in my office. And so very much it's an indoor service provided you know, to the consumer at their demand. The push side of things, which we're now starting to see, is in the metro space, where we're delivering service into public areas, whether that's indoor or outdoor. And this is very much... The indoor-outdoor push is very much about capacity, and the pull is very much about improving reach. So really, you know, we're seeing two dynamics for small cells. Um, Wi-Fi is a key part of that, uh, especially in the, in, the, in the home and the office, where really they're, they're looking for the reach to be able to use the voice services, and they see data being delivered by the Wi-Fi. David, can you tell us a little bit about take-up rates of small cells worldwide? Worldwide, very much, um, we've seen a ripple effect. Small cells sort of starts in the U.S., um, and we've seen operators like AT&T and Verizon and Sprint um, really lead the charge or, or in the small cell space, um, followed very much then by, um, you know, in, in EMEA with the likes of Vodafone and uh, Telefonica, you know, um, rolling out small cells for enterprise uh, and for public service. Um, Certainly in the last year, there's been a lot more activity within Asia-Pac. Um, a lot of the dilemmas that operators are seeing about um, quality of service have now been solved, and very much you know, we're now starting to see you know, operators deploying small cells for the home, for the office, and for public service. We've seen a lot of activity in Korea. Uh, we've seen a lot of activity with our own products within, within Malaysia and Singapore. So really, it's actually really sort of uh, starting to take off. And the final market area, which is Latin America, you know, is now in the, like, the early stages where Asia Pac was perhaps a year or two ago. So that's the sort of dynamics we're seeing around the world. Very much a change from the home and much more focus towards small cells being part of a macro cell rollout, you know, to deliver service. David, a final question. So what is driving the demand for small cells apart from capacity and coverage? Um, operators are now very much more in tune with the idea of quality of experience, and they see small cells as a key driver to deliver that quality of experience. So we're seeing in the driving force for the, um, for the very much for the public, it's about being able to give what I would call perhaps performance zones, you know, whether that's in a public stadium, whether it's within a shopping development. So really it's about being able to you know, get that video quicker, get that email faster, get a much better experience. They're also now starting to use small cells very extensively within the enterprise space. And here it's very much it's a tool to be able to guarantee coverage and service in all of, a, of an enterprise's offices. And you know, we ourselves did um, some primary research, you know, and we saw that you know, over 87% of enterprises would switch carrier just to get better coverage, you know, and operators are now starting to appreciate that. That comes with the fact that um, within the Small Cell Forum, we're seeing a much bigger push to look at new business models and new ways to deploy enterprise cells you know, at a lower cost than using it as a network extension tool. 
David, there is so much more that we could talk about here, and I think we're going to delve into this topic even further with a future podcast with you. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I've only really given you just a really you know quick taster of a few things that are just top of mind you know at, at the moment. Great. We'll look forward to our next talk, David. Thanks for your insights. Okay, thanks a lot. And that was David Swift from Alcatel Lucy. I'm Mike Yeomans. This has been Digital Ideas. Talk to you next time.